Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of The Witcher Enhanced Edition. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that he chose to join me today as we go for a little bit of an, a nightly adventure. Um, so, uh, what I'm gonna do is light the... what's it called? The Shrines of the Eternal Fire. Well, it's not very eternal if I need to light it, but then again, what am I? who am I to say what your religion should be? Whatever. So yeah, the... The, the reverend asked us to um, light the, the shrines, and uh, that's what we're gonna do. But we need to light them during the night, because apparently that's the only way that we can um, get them to work. So I'm gonna collect some of my um, favorite alchemical ingredients. And I'm gonna rest for a while, because I need to make another cat potion. I also need to increase our skill levels. Let's see, group... Plus damage there, good. Uh, let's see about this. Mm -hmm. Nope, not interested in that right now. And strong plus bleeding plus damage, yes, I already have that one. Um, mm -hmm. mm. Okay, so what's this? Pain? That's cool. Okay, th this is a half spin, that's good. And th there's still another one. Yep, that, that's gonna be good. We're gonna go and focus a bit on our group fighting abilities. Let's see, so I, I have... Um, do I have the necessary alchemical ingredients for this? I probably do. Let's see, local... Mm -hmm. Actually, we got plenty of alchemical bases for our potions. Let's see, I need... So for the cat, I need... Rabbis and a couple of Kevrith. So Rabbis I got plenty, or Death Dust, which is pretty good, but I also got Selendine. Let's see if I have a Kevrith for without the... Uh, ooh, I didn't get that one in there. There we go, so without Nigredo, let's see. Hmm, looks like... Yep, looks like um, Kevrith is not that common. Got a couple of Rubedo, let's see, yeah. I need to be on the lookout for Bailey's fruits. I really need to be on the lookout for that. Let's mix that. And I'm gonna mix that potion because I want you fine people to be able to see a thing tonight. Because this mission uh, is gonna be during the night. And in the last episode that I did that involved the night time came out a little bit, a little bit, well, on the darker side of, of things. So, let's see. Cat, drink that. And be on the lookout for Bally's fruits. So yeah, I'm able to see a bit better. Not not terribly, and it's not terribly good by any stretch of the imagination, but it's better than what it was before. Look at that. Look at that. This is the nighttime. Yep, yeah, this is how a cat should see. So yeah, um, this mission got our first target of the night because they appear during the night quite often. So this mission is gonna involve us going all the way around the map uh, on a search for uh, the um, the shrines. I know where all of them are. I know exactly where they are, but uh, yeah, they they, um, they require me to go all around the map. So this is our first one. It's light. It's a light. A light is a light on the shrine. Lit. That's the. That's the. Come on. I sometimes I forget common words that everyone knows. But then again, I'm not a native speaker, so yeah. There you are. There you are. Okay. So, Burger cane, Not what I wanted. I want Bully's fruit. Where the hell is Bully's fruit? Do I need Burger cane? I need a few. I I like. I want to. I want to keep my stacks uh, to twenty or something around those values. Let's see. Another one, lit, and of course, let him finish howling at the moon. The moon should be out. There she is, the fair maiden of the moon. It's not that fair. I mean, I'm 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 not one to be fascinated by by that particular celestial body, but some people find the moon relaxing. But then again. Who knows what Geralt finds relaxing? Probably Geralt only finds killing monsters to be relaxing. Everything else kind of meh for him. 
He's like, I just want to kill monsters. Whatever. What? What? Whatever. And playing poker, of course. Oh, of course, never forget that. Never forget. And of course, ladies, never forget that as well. So three things that are very easy for Geralt to enjoy. So no ballist fruit in here. Man, where the hell am I? I'm just going around this house for no reason whatsoever. Hopefully I won't miss the... Um... Yep, this is the shrine and there's a travel over there. Don't come very close, mate. Because gods are about... Gods? Not gods. Dogs are about to appear. There you go. Oh, looks like he's gonna be in trouble. The other guy. Oh, no. Looks like he changed his mind. You got you, fella. Change your mind. Good for you, man. Good for you. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. And... So, again. Okay. Thank you, little doggy, for your assistance in this fight. And have a nice death. I'm not sure they are alive, because they're they're pretty spectra spectral. So where's the other... Oh, there it is. A little monkey's going around. I think there's quite a few, actually. I, I think I said previously that there's only one, but there's there should be more than, more than one. Oh, there's a couple of guys over there. Am I seeing things? I might be seeing things. I might be seeing things. Is he coming to help me? He's coming to help me, what a nice guy. Yep, there's... what's that? Is that a guy? Because I, I remember only there only being one person in here. Yep, is that a guy? It's not a guy. It's a um, dummy. Maybe he trains his sword arm on that. Okay, so this is another shrine. And of course, we're gonna get ambushed again. It's not really an ambush if you are expecting uh, to be ambushed, but... Of course, being in a disadvantages, disadvantages, is that the word? In a disadvantages position, uh, means that you're always gonna be at a disadvantage, of course. Okay, so there, the Captain Obvious is obvious. And there you go. So, what, where are you, remains? There you are. Oh, another Fang, Fangs are very good. Beast Fangs, they are very good because they don't have, um, Contaminants or whatever the name of those things are um, This is a merchant Not somebody trying to kill us in the night Which is not something that I'm very interested in so white myrtle not interested in that either Let's see bellies. Nope. No bellies over there and oh there's bellies and of course another bar guest come here it's a funny thing, actually. I was I was thinking right now, what if we could get one of these as a pet? Wouldn't it be cool if a witcher had a, a beast as a pet, a monster? It'd be cool. It'd be quite a, quite outside the character, or yeah, out of character, I should say. But it would be cool. Oh, a vermin, a vermin. Those kind of little dragons that that fly around. Or don't have feet? Yeah, that's the one. Worms. Wormins. We'll find them later in uh, chapter 4, I'm pretty sure. There's plenty of monsters in this game. It's not all Bargus and Drowners. And Echinops. There's the police. Yep, more of that. Thank you. There should be more around. Some regions, you'll get uh, more of certain alchemical ingredients. This guy's like, eh, I'm out of here. I don't know what I'm doing outside this late night, but whatever, I'm out of here. Look at that. Those green dogs. I hate green dogs. I don't like green. And I can make a reference uh, for a, a, a team or whatever that that uh, wears green, but I don't know green. Maybe I'll make a reference to the Irish. They like green, don't they? Hmm. I am not one to generalize. There's, there's gotta be plenty of Irishmen and Irish women that don't like green. This is the last eternal fire shrine. And of course, of course, what did I just say? Oh, a berry? Okay. Let's go and see what I can do in terms of killing these guys as fast as possible. I don't want to use group style because I never know with beasts. Oh, there's four of them. Okay. I'm okay with that. And there you go. Dead. I'm in pretty bad shape. But that should be enough. That should be the last of them. Gather their 
ingredients, the remains. Only got a single beast fang out of that, but... Okay, so use that. And the quest updated. Lighting the fires did not drive the Bargas away, no kidding. Uh, although I don't see any Bargas around, but you, Geralt knows best. Geralt knows best. Let's go around the map again. Let's speak with Mikkel over there. Uh, because I want to turn in my quest that I finished at last episode. So Elabor, I might bring that with me. Yep, I only have 10, so I might, might want that in the future. Uh, nothing else. White Merle, we got plenty of that. I, I still don't see any any Vargas around. I don't know what Geralt was talking about. A rabbit dog. Are you okay? Yup, you're not okay. There's... What? Oh, there you are. That dog, at least, is not attacking me anymore. So maybe... Maybe... I know, it's still rabbit, but rabies is... Doesn't have a cure. At least didn't have a cure in the in the world of The Witcher. Hello. Thank you. Oh, he dies on his own. And of course, out comes a Bargast. The spirit, the vengeful spirit of the dog. Or however you want to look at it. And there you go. I'm in pretty bad shape. Health-wise. Hmm. Okay, well. Uh, so, th there's Mikkel. There's people over there. I might want to save. I should save. I should. I should save. I should save because. Hmm. I knew. I, I. I said this before. I may have not said this before, but there. This is gonna be a fight. Hmm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna prepare myself. So we got a key for what the key for the crypt, of course. Human remains. That's for the quest with the uh, left garden or a frighteners vision. Okay, so this grants me a muted gen. I need to check on that later. And let's drink a swallow to increase my health because it's looking pretty bad. It's looking pretty bad. And this is Burber Cane. I'm just gonna mo go on my merry way over here and pick some fruit. Ooh, look at that. They were sleeping there. Okay, so let's see what's up with these guys. Salamander Lackey. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I just didn't want to risk being caught off guard. Leave me be. I won't surrender my workshop for all the treasure in the world. Oh, you'll give it up, Gramps. Or else. Or what? A witcher! Kill him! Not likely. Oh, is this a professor? Are those... Are those... Yeah. Get ours, witcher. You should have left Salamandra alone. This bridge will be your grave. Oh, boy. That is not the professor, there is the, um, the mage, exactly. So I paused the game because I want to consider my options. I could R this guy and focus on the mage. Look at the, look at the amulet, the medallion. It vibrates, signaling lurking monsters or sources of magic nearby. Yeah, that's the mage. That has got to be the mage. So I'm gonna, yeah. Uh, the mage, I don't know what he's susceptible for. Let's see. Okay, that didn't go according to plan, so I'm gonna change my strategy very quickly. Oh, I missed my combo right there. Down one goes. Oh, I got help. That's good. I'm on fire. That's the mage is doing. Let's see what I can do with you. Maybe you can... Oh, boy. Oh, that should... What's that? Well, I'm... Oh, don't kill my mate. Aha! Can I kill you like this? I'm on fire. Oh, I don't want that. Run away, man! Run the hell away, because that thing... Is this... What's this? This is Lovarden, or whatever the name of that guy is. Yep, I'm looking in pretty bad shape. This guy is very powerful. Uh, yep, and down he... Ooh! That was a weird ragdoll. Oh, the old... Lol. Thank you, Witcher. You saved me. And my laboratory, my beakers, my treasures. Anytime. That was a tough fight. That was a really tough I fight. Know all too well what they're after. To use the stolen secrets, Salamandra needs equipment. Without it, the Witcher's mutagens are useless. They almost grabbed Kalkstein and his treasures. 
They almost succeeded at Kaer Morhen. Almost makes a huge difference. If I had stayed and fought the Frightener with Vesemir, I might have faced a different threat today. They were here for me. I made a choice some time back. Had you known this would happen, would you have chosen differently? Okay, so this is one of the... So the choices and consequences of The Witcher are basically this. Sometimes you get given an option, and you have no idea what the outcome is going to be. Uh, so this is meant to increase the replayability of the game. Uh, so once you, one time you help Triss with the laboratory, the other time you help Vesemir with the Frightener, and then later on in the game you get a different mission, maybe a different character, maybe a different area. Uh, so yeah, what Kalkstein is referring to here is, and what Geralt is referring to here, is that uh, because we went for the laboratory and messed with the professor, now they are trying to... Well, I don't really get why they are trying to attack uh, Kalkstein over here, but, well, I wouldn't make a different choice because, I mean, I don't, I don't regret it. I knew full well what I was doing. I didn't exactly know that this would happen, but I don't care. And Geralt, I don't think, cares because, it, as it turns out, it got, I saved this, this guy's research, so that's good. Uh, I, and you know, would you have chosen differently? No. No. It was the right decision, and I'll deal with the consequences. I'm not surprised at your answer. You don't seem like one to look back. Visit my shop in Vizima for any ingredients you need for your potions at a discount. Farewell. Thank you so much. Oh, we got Geralt is walking on his own. Shouldn't have defended the old man. You come talking again. <laughs> what are you going on about? The old man comes here and talks and talks. Gives me headache. I'll stone him next time. I wouldn't if I were you. He's a powerful alchemist. Uh, Captain said, only admit those with passes. I know, I know. They're moving me to Millgate tomorrow. That's where I'll stand. If you have a pass, look for me there. Cool, so I know well where you'll be. Let's speak with Coxton. Not letting me in? The Oxenfurt Inventors Club must have bribed them. What brings you here? <laughs> oh, old man, and then the next second, what brings you here? Yeah, uh, it's the ghoul blood. They say you need ghoul blood. Do you have any? Relax. Pay first. I need that blood for my research. What? Oh, we get we gave. Okay, good. Can I? Not. Uh, can I ask what you some I... more questions? Nope. Fair. Nothing new. Speak with Mikkel. Uh... <laughs> this all is very, very il il eloquent. Eloquent? Eloquent? I don't know. Um. I got rid of the ghouls in the crypt. A hundred thanks, master. Here be a month's pay. Oh, the boys will be happy. <laughs> They plan to search for treasure in the crypt. Take a pick to one of the walls. I found a young woman's body inside. The ghouls came for her. Young woman? No. It can't be. My Elsa, I, I, I loved her. I wouldn't know her name. It appears she poisoned herself. No, no, no. It was that vile witch. The devil's whore poisoned my Ilsa. No. I'm sorry for your loss. But I need to know about Salamandra. They have passes, they do. The only ones. Leave me be. You have the evil eye. You bring bad tidings. Be gone! Don't forget to tell the Reverend I got rid of those ghouls. Farewell. Hmm. So he's blaming Abigail for killing... Well, might be that she just uh, went and bought the... Um... Might very well be that she just went and bought the uh, venom from um, from Abigail, but then again, I mean, Abigail selling her venom doesn't mean she's get, she's responsible for what the girl did with the venom, right? Right? I don't know. So you got Stamel Forge Dust, and it's a base for bombs, which I'm not gonna be doing in the near future. 
and I got a Temerian steel sword. And uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's just a sword. It deals a little bit less damage than uh, the Witcher's steel sword. And um, my next objective is gonna be I still have to check this village over here. There's still plenty to do. Next, my next objective is gonna be to find out who the other guy was that wanted help. So I wanted to arrest. Okay, so Witcher Secrets. No, that's the main mission. Let's see over here. Prologue, chapter one. Monsters and men. I lit the fires. I need to speak with the Reverend. The Reverend refuses to let me inside the church. I need to hurt his trust. His trust. Hmm. Yeah, I will speak with him. And oh, there you go. Let's kill some drowners. Ooh, not just drowners. I have a trick for you guys. Don't worry. There you go. <laughs> All, all of them just upside down on the ground. Their backs facing the ground. Another, another time. There you go. I don't need. I don't know if I need to char charge the uh, the sign or whatever. Okay. I'm gonna go for group style. See if it helps. Looks like it does. Yeah, that's still of in amplifying damage when fighting more than uh, at least three enemies was pretty good. Group style is really, really overpowered. I mean, it's not overpowered, it's just a way to believably have uh, Geralt deal with lots of enemies. And in hard mode, it's pretty hard e either way. So yeah, a single monster can kick your ass. Imagine three or, f or four of them at the same time. and. Uh, in a way, the Witcher kind of does a good job trying to avoid avoid that um, that traditional cliche of having a hero that kicks ass all day long and just never rests. Because I'm pretty sure um, I'm pretty sure that's also a thing in in uh, the books it, uh, themselves. Uh, Geralt can't just kick ass all he likes. He's he's seriously afraid for his life sometimes, and. Um, and it should be, uh, considering some of the monsters that he faces in the books. I've only read one. Uh, I think uh, it's the only one that's been translated into English. Uh, it's The Last Wish, and it's a pretty, pretty cool book. I really enjoyed my time with it. And uh, if you're into reading, and you should be, uh, reading is a pretty fun thing to do. Uh, if you're into reading, you should check. You should definitely check out The Last Wish from... Uh, what's the name of the author? It's a Polish name, I forget the name. I can't speak Polish, so there's very little reference for me to to gather from. Let's speak with the Reverend then. So yeah, the, all these these all these houses, they have people inside that we might want to talk with. And we might want to do missions for some time. I don't know. We'll see that later. So looks like the drowners are gone. Maybe they're gonna there's gonna be a few more over here. Look at the frogs. Nope, no drowners. So reverend, it is. Let's speak with the reverend. See if um, see if he's awake. Oh, there you go. And the same old Vargas that we found last episode. But that I found last episode. I'm not sure how it was on camera because I did a cut. Because I did a cut. And beast fangs. That's good. Oh, uh, by the way, I know where to find pork. This is where I need uh, where I find pork. Duh. I just need to speak with the, the stall keeper. Rabbit dog over here. Just die. Kick you and you die. That's feeding. I don't... Uh, yep. There you go. The same doesn't happen with this Vargas. Um, I mean, it did happen once. And I have no idea what that was all about. So Beast Fang from the dog. Hopefully not the Beast Fang. Nope. Not Beast Fang from the Vargas. But that's okay. Can I enter the church? Of course not. Of course not. So, yeah. I'm gonna rest. Oh, we got a new militia. That's cool. So, I'm gonna rest. I need to find a place to rest. Let's check the map. So, I'm over here. Got a chapel, reverence house, campfire over there. Yep, I need to go back uh, and rest by that that uh, campfire. And, um, the, the, vision, the vision is this blurry because of the cat potion. Cat potion creates this sort of 
shatter effect or whatever you want to call it. And uh, if you're wondering about that, that's because the we, I took the, the potion for you guys to see better, for myself to see better. So there is the camp place. Let's light it with Igni. There you go. And let's rest. So this is gonna be the night dealt with. Let's, yep, let's go rest for a six hours. Meditate for six hours. And... Ooh! A thug. I didn't see you coming, man. Yeah, all these guys I can speak with their leader somewhere around here, but that that's gonna be for next episode. Um, for now, I'm just gonna get uh, the Reverend's opinion on my current state of affairs. So first, let's buy some pork. Hmm. Yep, let's buy some pork. So I'm gonna sell you some blueberries that I don't need. And you have pork. There it is, bear fat. And where's pork? Oh man, this is for top color. I might want to buy that actually. I might want to buy that. Where's oh, there's pork. Just need one. Thank you. See you later. Thank you for your business. No, you thank me for my business. I always get those mix, mixed around. Okay, so where's the reverend? There you are, you, you shoeless fool. Speak quickly. Or sandal wearing fool. I carried the eternal fire to all the chapels. The beasts still haunt us. I told you it wouldn't work. Where's my payment? Ah, yes, your payment. The curse must be stronger than I thought. Doubtless caused by that witch, Abigail. An evil woman. A witch? Maybe she can tell us more. She brought the beast and all other calamities upon us. Perhaps, but I'd rather speak with her first. We must know from whence the beast came. Learn the truth. I will, for 300 orans. Our community's poor. Perhaps 200? So be it. Oh, Geralt gave up very quickly. That's not like him. Speak. Um... I want to enter the city, but I need a letter, a pass of some sort. Only Knights of the Order hold passes. But as chaplain, I have one. May I have it? You? A stranger? A drifter? Have you lost your mind? Hmm. Well, I'll check the footage. I'll check what he told me about um, who I need to help. We're getting a level. Look at that. All sorts of nice things happening. But I think that's about it for this episode. I'm Kernel RPG, and this has been The Witcher Enhanced Edition. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, feel free to leave a comment, and I'll see you next episode. Bye bye!